it's Jondra from My Expressions. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video of me featuring my entire Trobies collection, part two. <laughs> so if you haven't seen part one, I'll try and link it somewhere above so you guys can check out uh, that video first. But that one, I kind of got a little bit chatty, so let's just dive right in since we already said our hellos. <laughs> um, I don't have my timer on as well. So these are all of my Trophy bangles. Um, as you can see, my copper is in a little bit of a rough state. I haven't really cleaned it ever. <laughs> but it has this really cool patina. I don't know if you guys can see it. I see like a little bit of purple or pink or fuchsia. It's really cool. We can always do that with vinegar or ketchup or lemon juice. So I've just been too busy. This is a twisted one. Trying to get to focus. You won't focus. Come on. There we go. Hope we can see the little bit of the patina as well. It's pretty cool. And then I have the silver counterparts to that as well. And the spacers are already there. I don't have any copper spacers. I've been meaning to get some, but just haven't gone around to doing it. As always. <laughs> Let's move on. Next, let's do this one right here, which is my white. My white, hmm, is it be purple? My white bracelet. I don't really tend to go for white as a color. I think it's a little bit boring, but Troll Beads just has such pretty and amazing um, glass beads that I couldn't help myself. And in my last video, I talked about how I design, um, how differently I design my Pandora bracelet versus my Troll Beads bracelet. And with these, I tend to do more colors and patterns versus themes. With Pandora, I'm all about themes, um, like you know, like my royalty bracelet or my like angel wing bracelet or my hearts bracelet, or stars bracelet, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. With Troll Beans, I'm more into colors and patterns versus themes. So as you guys can see, and I'll do close-ups too. As you guys can see here, I have a focal point of the big Love Within silver bead, and then I have two glass beads, and then I have two silver beads, glass bead, and then I have three silver beads, and a glass bead to separate everything else. So it's one, two, three. A little pattern there. I feel like I'm starting to, like, what is it, um, get less creative when it comes to patterns, but I'm pretty proud of the ones I have, like, created already. And I don't really have anything different to say about this one. Um, it's pretty symmetrical, or try to be. As you guys can see, I have two square beads here, round one, and then really abstract ones, the glass bead round the stars, which I forget what it's called, and then the water bead. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I like how I designed this one. It's one of my favorites because of that. Um, I might replace this one, though, with the white roses that came out. I think was it... I don't even know when it, I'm, I'm so out of, out of touch with, with the troll beads, I don't know what it came out, but it looks like the mother's bouquet, but instead of pink, it's white, and I kind of like it. So I think it would look really cool with this bracelet, and this one kind of just, I don't know, we'll see. But let me just go ahead and zoom in so you guys can get a closer look, and we'll move on. say that some of these bracelets that I have the locks make sense for the theme others don't like for example in my last video I featured my Mexico bracelet has the Mexico lock my ocean bracelet has the water lock but with this one it doesn't really have a theme I just like this lock for this bracelet you guys know what I mean um, I love how Troll Beads has different locks. It just adds to the just many things, ways you can like design stuff, you know. Next, we'll come to my green bracelet. And this one has more of a basic pattern. Um, it has like two end, like stoppers, like not end stoppers, but like end beads, I say. Kind of like they're kind of more of a thin. Just to take up more room. 
And then this one's just round glass, round bead glass, round bead glass, round bead glass, round bead, etc. etc. So not too much on a pattern, but I do like all the round beads on this. It makes me happy. <laughs> and I forget what this lock is from. I don't remember what it's called at all, but I like it. <laughs> There's not much to say about this bracelet because it's pretty basic, I guess, and I guess in the pattern. But I, it makes me happy. <laughs> so again, let's get some quick close-ups and we'll move on. One and only gold troll beads bead. Um, probably the one, I, the only one I'll, I'll ever have. It's on a chain because I don't want to wear it on a bracelet. Although it would probably look very gorgeous. Like I, I, I will say, like if I were to get like a bangle and just wear it like that, it'd be really pretty by itself. So I might do that. I might do that one day. But it's on a, you know, like if I'm on a date. Or something I'm not doing something like active with my hands because I want this to keep to, keep, to be as pristine as possible this bead was made possible through Gigi a really good friend of mine and um, I made a whole video just on this bead <laughs> alone um, I'll link it somewhere here and um, to explain the story behind it but yeah it's it's really it means a lot to me honestly um, plus I like the fact not only the fact that it's shaped in a, as a star but each little star point is a heart Upside down heart, see that? Upside down heart. And it makes a star, which I love. So I really like to wear this uh, around my neck as a necklace. So I can keep it nice and pretty. <laughs> no scratches, no dings. But of course, if I do choose to wear it on a bangle like that, I, 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 I will. But I'll, again, it'll be on a day where I'm not like super active it's more like I'm just going out with my husband on a date which uh, seems like it's never gonna happen ever again but who knows <laughs> next let's see I'm trying to think I feel like this one I talked a lot about um, this video this part like part two is more bracelet heavy versus like everything else is in part one but whatever okay let's throw it up a little bit um these are probably the only troll bead earrings that I have. And the opal centerpieces don't belong to troll beads. It's just the way I they have displayed in the store. And I fell in love with them and my husband made them a birthday present for me. Birthday or anniversary? I can't remember. I think it was a... I can't remember. <laughs> well, opal is my birthstone, so... So usually you get like these little hooks that Chobies has and you insert them in the middle of the flower and that's how you wear them. However, I did buy some hooks a long time ago and I used them on these flowers and I did not like how they looked because they felt kind of droopy. They didn't sit upright like this on my ear. They're kind of like down like that, which I was like, well, you can't really see them. So I decided to maybe, I mean, I decided I return them and I decided to go back to wearing them like this, like studs. Really cute. And then let's talk about my other mixed brand bracelet. I talked about the first one in the uh, first part of this uh, series. Now let's talk about my second mixed brand bracelet. And I talked about how I don't like to mix brands at all. I'm a purist. I do not like doing that. But when it comes to themes, <laughs> I will bend the rules a little bit. So this is my only troll bead slash Pandora bracelet um, that's mixed together because this is my Pac-Man bracelet. <laughs> and I know, who would think of making a Pac-Man bracelet? Oh, well, yours truly. Um, 
I think I made a whole blog post about this bracelet. I was very proud of myself the way I was able to like design it. I actually did some research and I actually actually had to like look up the history of Pac-Man and you know when you're playing Pac-Man and those little like fruits that come up like what fruits which what were the fruits that come out and you know like what other fruits period because I don't remember the other fruits all I remember is the apple and the cherry right and the orange those are the only ones I remembered so I did my best to compile like you know charms that represent Pac-Man and it all really started with this little bead which trophy is called Ghost Hunter <laughs> in order to avoid trademark infringement I'm assuming so they call this little guy Ghost Hunter and then we have Miss Mrs or Mrs Miss Ghost Hunter so we have Miss Pac-Man and I just thought it was so cute and I remember when I was little you know, when Pac-Man was all the rage, and I, I suck at the game, let me tell you, I still suck at the game, so I can't, I know there's like a, there's like a way to play, I don't, I never got it, <laughs> I suck at it, but I tried my best to, um, get from Pandora and get from Trobies to represent each of the symbols, um, so we have a spaceship, which looks nothing like the one in the game, but this is, this is the one, the rocket, the rocket, little rocket that the Trobies came up with, so I bought it, and I put it on the bracelet. Uh, we have the apple of wisdom from Trobates, but that's the apple from, again, Pac-Man. There is a bell. You guys don't remember that? Um, this is a mixture of Miss Pac-Man and Pac-Man. So, again, I have a whole blog post dedicated to this bracelet. If I remember, I'll link it down below. There's a bell. Uh, we have the pretzel. One of the snacks that they get to eat. I have Miss Pac-Man, the pineapple, which everyone thought was a bunch of grapes, actually. A pineapple. Um, I have the X jewelry link here. It's called Gamer Link. But again, we have a little ghost. See? It's upside down. See that little ghost? That's totally blinky. <laughs> and then we have Pac Man again. How could I not get this and put it on this bracelet, right? To look, it kind of, it plus them, it, it kind of, it's like a nice placeholder here. So I like that a lot. And then I have a strawberry, the original strawberry. Everyone keeps asking me if I'm collecting the 20th anniversary. I'm like, no, I don't really need, feel the need to. I have the original. I don't need to buy one with a 20 on it. I'm, I'm happy for everyone else who like wants to buy it and collect. Cause that's all. all what that's is, this is what Joy's all about collecting. So nothing against that if you want to collect the 20th anniversary. I think making a whole bracelet with all 20th anniversary beads would be awesome. But in my opinion, I rather just save my money um, because I have bigger plans. Um, once this quarantine is over, hopefully I can make those plans happen. I'm really hoping, really hoping. <laughs> but more power to you if you want to collect the 20th anniversary ones. Um, I can't afford to buy every little thing I want. Like I said, I wish I could. But I need to be a little bit smarter with the money because I, in the past I've been known to just go crazy and splurge. I've known this. I've, I talk about it myself on my videos when I have all these hauls. And I'm like, I don't know why I bought that. So it was an impulse buy. So I'm trying to get better about being just better about what I spend money on. So I just rather keep my money, you know, save my money, unless it's a charm that I really, really, really want and it happens to be 20th anniversary, then I'll, I'll go ahead and splurge. But I'd rather not <laughs> for now. <laughs> I have the ghost, which is really cute. Of course, it's Pandora. I really wish I had gotten more. Um, I think he's really, he's really cute. He makes me a little smile. makes you so happy, so cute. And, um, I, how many ghosts are there? Is it like four, five, six ghosts? I don't even remember. But, um, not that I want to buy all four or five. This is enough to represent, you know, that there are ghosts in the Pac-Man game. Um, but I wouldn't mind getting maybe one more. Um, then we have, again, the ghost hunter here. And then the key, which is more of a, like a regular key now. Um, this is more of like a romanticized antique looking key from Pandora. Um, but they did have a key, so I stuck a key on there. And, of course, we come to the chest lock. Um, from Trobi, that's actually kind of rare. I forget if it's Italian. I think it's Italian. I forget what the meaning of this lock is, but... I figured I'd get it because it's a game. <laughs> it is. I know it's not chess. It's called chess, but... It, 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 okay, so my connection to this 
is the way I, I thought about it was like, well, this lock belongs on this bracelet because it's got a little like chess grid thing going on and that kind of reminded me of Qbert. Remember Qbert, that game from the 80s and this is from the 80s, so I thought that's what the connection. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know, I, it's dumb. I know that, but I, I like it on this bracelet, so. So there you go. So that's my explanation, my long ass explanation. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon my French of oh, this uh, bracelet. I really like it a lot though. It's uh, I'm very proud of it I think it's probably why I'm so happy with it. Um, so I'll give you guys a quick little like, you know, close-up and we'll move on really interesting ring I have to say it was a little bit of an impulse buy I was going to walk away from it but my husband was with me when we bought it and he goes go ahead and buy it it's really cool looking it's different I'm like okay so before I actually continue talking about this let's also talk about this ring right here that I have it is a pearl and hawthorn ring I love this ring it's so gorgeous so pretty so classic I just it's so pretty oh ow. yeah I think it needs a little bit of a polishing for sure but it's just gorgeous and it's it's kind of like a bit on the bigger side it's a bigger ring i would say it's almost a statement piece i really don't have a lot of patrol base rings but i do treasure the ones i have this is one of them and then now getting back to this one let me demonstrate one of my way favorite favorite ways of of um Wearing this ring is you get your beads. Let's see. So you kind of just put some stuff on there. You can put glass beads on it too. Although to me it feels kind of weird because then I feel like the glass bead is like resting between two fingers, which that's fine. But it kind of, I don't know, it kind of bothers me a little bit. And now I'm having a little bit of trouble. Ow! Oh, <laughs> Sorry guys, I want to do something really really quickly off camera just to get this ring on my finger because I am struggling just a tad. Okay, here we go. There we are. Oh wait, I have a kind of... Hold on, I put it on backwards. <laughs> or upside down, not backwards. Ow! Okay, it took forever. This is the end result. This is my absolutely favorite way of wearing this ring. Um, I actually pinned this post. I made a whole blog post about this ring too as a review. And I tried several ways of um, wearing this. Or like what, not, not several ways, but several beads. How you could wear this. And I think I even posted a small, very brief video on this too. And as I pinned this, I've, I've realized it's one of my most popular pins because... I, I see even to this day that it gets repinned and repinned and repinned constantly. So I must have done something right. <laughs> this is really pretty. Because it is my absolutely favorite way of wearing it. Um, but like I said, the construction is kind of weird because you do see that like almost like a nail poking out. See that? And then there's a gap because it's <laughs> you need a gap so you can put the beads on. See? So it is an unorthodox ring for sure. But it's a fun ring though, I got to say. And again, kudos to Patrobis for thinking outside the box and being creative. And now taking it off is gonna be a challenge. Ow, because I've gained some weight and this doesn't fit like it's supposed to anymore. <laughs> All right, putting the ring back over there. Ouch, now I've completely oh, irritated my finger. <laughs> um, let's talk about the birth flowers. Now there's a story behind this too. Let's see if I can get a charm bar real fast. I'm almost near my 22 minutes, which is fine. 
But I love to wear this on a bangle. I think I have an order too, but I can't think of the order right now. But let's just stick them on for now. Oh, there it goes. Okay, let's see. Is that the order? Kind of. This might be the order. I don't know. Anyways, I initially wanted to do a whole birth flower um, bracelet in honor of my immediate family. So... I thought, you know, I'm gonna put them on a chain like this, and then I realized that they're just gonna be, you know, dancing around the chain. I was like, well, that's a stupid idea. So I said, maybe that's not gonna work the way I wanted it to. And then my birth flower is the, I think called the calen calendula, calendula. I, I can't say that right. And compared to all of the other birth flowers, which are substantial, look how dinky this one is. That's my birth flower lame totally dinky i was like that's stupid i hate my birth flower it's dumb <laughs> in my opinion they could have done something better it's so lame and tiny compared to the other ones whatever so i, I gave up on that idea and then i came across a really beautiful pin on pinterest where someone made a beautiful bouquet of flowers on a bangle i have to say bangles always to the rescue if you can't think of what to do on a foxtail bracelet then bangle will always fix everything. So this isn't how I usually, I think I, I switched these two backs so or whatever. Um, this represents all of the birth flowers from my immediate family, except for the rose. The rose is just a nice, beautiful placeholder because <laughs> it's so pretty. Um, so this is my birth flower. I think this is no, no, December or is it December? Shoot, I forget. I think this is December, which I forget the name of the flower now. Uh, the Rose of June, again, no one in June, but it's just so pretty. The Chrysanthemum from November from my dad. So this is me. Wait, not December. Oh, oh yeah, my sister. <laughs> I was going to say, who was born in December? My sister. December. Rose is just, because I'm a placeholder. Chrysanthemum for November, which is my dad. And I think these are the daffodils of March. For both my mom and my husband they're both born this in march so really really like this i did copy that person i couldn't credit them because there was no one to credit i didn't know where the pin came from but i love it it's really beautiful on a bangle i usually wear it around now when spring comes around but again haven't really been wanting to wear anything lately kind of depressed tired stressed out like everyone else I'm sure, right? Put them back in here. Which is a Pandora baggie, which I think is kind of funny. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's speed through the rest because I still have one, two, three, four braces left. This one is my teal bracelet. Um, this is not the lock that I mean to keep on it. It's just an extra lock that I have because I bought two of the Wishful Sky sets when they first came out i think what two three years ago now i forget but um yeah it's not the the lock i meant mean to keep on it but i haven't i haven't bought any new locks lately so um it's just there for now and what else can i say about this bracelet um the pattern three beads it's the same one as the ocean one i think yeah three glass beads small silver Three glass beads, small silver, three glass beads, small silver, etc., etc. This one was more of an accidental bracelet. I meant to make the bracelet more blue-green like this, where it has an actual like green and like blue separated like colors. But it ended up being a teal bracelet. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I have this thing, like a love-hate relationship with this bracelet. I feel like I don't know. <laughs> it's like a teal bracelet with some darker blues. I don't know. I, I feel like I'm, it's just a little bit of a schizophrenic bracelet. You know, then I have these two beads. I don't know if they really match. Like these two match together. But do they match the bracelet as a whole? 
Do you see what I'm saying? And then I have these two beads, though. I think they're called white cap, which again, have that really pretty like teal underneath, like blue green. But then it has spots of darker blue. So I don't know, should I take them off and make a whole, like do these even go together like these two? See now that I look at that, they don't really go, do they? I feel like these don't really go. <laughs> or do they? I can't tell. I don't know, I, I'm almost tempted to take off the blue greens, the definite blue greens and leave the teal by themselves. I know teal is still blue green, I know that. I'm not dumb, I know. <laughs> But I feel like it's like deconstructed. Do you see what I'm saying? Like this is actually green. And then you see this, the blue like separated. It's not mixed. Do you see what I'm saying? Same thing with this one. It's a, it's a green core and the glass is blue. So it's deconstructed, it's separated. Whereas this, everything else is an actual teal. Like it's mixed, you know what I'm saying? But part of me likes it as a whole. So I don't know. So I took off the other Northern Lights. It used to be here, because I replaced it with this one. And I ran out of money to buy the other one I wanted, that which I thought would look good with this bracelet. So I took off one of them, and I have this one left, which eventually will, will come off too, to replace, to be, to be replaced by another one. Anyways, I am talking too much again. I apologize. I just get really excited with my stuff. So as you guys can probably guess. So let's, let's how about we shut up? Let's shut up and do a close up and we'll move on. <laughs> Like some of these beads may not like should not be on this bracelet but as a whole it doesn't bother me and like I know I know this one's kind of like an odd one out now because it's missing the other northern lights but once I get the other bead that I want to buy I'll take this one off it didn't look bad when I had two of them but now with the one it looks kind of weird so I, I I know it doesn't for all you guys who are like have OCs like me I know it doesn't really go <laughs> All right, let's speed it along a little bit because like I said, I'm running out of time. Where my timer already went off. Um, I've talked about this before, about this type of uh, lock. Uh, Pandora, oh, no, I keep saying Pandora. Trill Beads. Trill Beads Hall has another one that's called the Big Fish Lock. And I like it because it's really chunky and it's like detached. It's like connected like, like this one. It's just like one piece, right? This one is like two pieces. I'm not sure why they forgot they can make it other locks like that like they only made the two and that's it like why make make more guys come on make more <laughs> you can make more with a really big lock and then have that little lock attached to it like this or the clasp so anyways this one i love this bracelet i love the colors it's really funny because what i love about this bracelet is not necessarily the purple or the lavender it's the mixture it's the mixture so some people think oh, they look at this bracelet and go oh, it's like a lavender purple bracelet it technically is, but that's not what I love about it. And I love purple, like the next person. I don't love, well, I don't love purple, but purple is a nice color. I like purple, I enjoy purple. <laughs> it's not my favorite color. Um, but it's the mixture of the colors that I love about this. I'm, I love the mixture of blues and pinks and amber and lilac. You know what I'm saying? It, it's the iridescence of the beads that I like so much and that they have so many beads that are kind of iridescent. Oh, this is why I love Trilby so much. Um, and I think the pattern for this one is reversed from the white one. Now it's three center beads that are glass, two silver, two glass, two silver, one glass, and then the rest is just placeholders. So it's one, two, three. Yep. And these charms actually do have some meaning. Except for the T one. <laughs> that one I just didn't know where else to put. But um, yeah, this one has some meaning to it. This is this came with the, I think the Stories of You bracelet. I forget what I don't anymore. This one was to represent the trips to Hawaii we've taken. This one I just played the piano. This one, 
which is more like the fashionable part of me, which is very, not right now. The hearts, the T, I love T. Lee, will you marry me? The marriage bead, or will you marry me bead? I forget what it's called, but it's so precious. So cute. And the I love you. And then this one's just gonna, like I said, a placeholder. So yeah, let's do a close up real fast. And we have two more braces to go and I'll be all done. Again, I just want to show you just how gorgeous these beads are. Look how pretty. And I do have to say, I've been very, very, very tempted to start, um, I'm not confused if it's ogre beads or elf beads. I forget which one it is, but there are some that my Pandora Charm Moments 1974, I hope I got that name right, because <laughs> there's so many names I forget. Um, on her Instagram, she just showcases these gorgeous beads. And I think they're ogre beads. They remind me a lot of these beads, the faceted. This beautiful like iridescence to it. Um, I just can't afford another brand. Like, I always say that with own beads too. Own beads, I have a couple of beads that I would love to get. Um, I just can't afford it. I cannot afford another brand. There's just no way. <laughs> There's just no way. I have enough with what I have now, so said no one ever right now. <laughs> um, this one, there's not much to say. Um, I'm not a huge, huge fan of pink, but I do love the, this shade of pink, the Cerise. I do like this color, which is funny, funny that I said that because my logo has what it's close to this pink. Um, that just that would happen by accident, honestly. It's not like I actually pick, picked that pink out. It was just an accident that happened that way. Um, but I really do love this cherry pink. It's really pretty. I do have to say though, I'm not happy with the rose quartz that I bought. I feel like I need this to be somewhere else, not here. I don't know, I just feel like it needs a different place. And then I'm not happy with this bead either. I need to kind of like replace this bead because I'm not happy with it either with a blue freckle. What the heck is that? Um, I bought this off through Facebook, so from a retailer that was going out of business, so it wasn't like I had a choice. Um, I feel like it doesn't really go with this shade of pink, but I'm just going with it because it's a placeholder. So I think I need I need more of these. I need more of them. The delight. What's it called? Facet delight. Something like that. This is really gorgeous. Oh, look how pretty. Ah, oh, so pretty. So any more of these? <laughs> I need, I want to get one more. Um, I'm trying not to be too matchy matchy, but this one I think it's just gonna be matchy matchy. I can't help it because of the mother's roses. And then I have a duplicate rose here because, you know, roses with roses. Um, like, these are the same. These are the same color but different. And these are kind of the same but different. They both have that gold sparkle, but this one's faceted and just more gorgeous than this one. And this one is just beautiful. Even though it, has, it does have a little bit of green in it, you can't really tell. The Flow of Love, I think it's called. It's such a pretty bead. Um, I need to work on this one more for sure. This is this is a definitely a work in progress. Obviously as you can tell it's 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 it needs some love. So I don't know what to do with it yet, but for now this is what we have going. So it's not finished, so we shall see. It might be a couple years before it's finished, but we'll we'll find out what happens <laughs> later on. <laughs> Alright, let's just go ahead and zoom in and get ready for our last bracelet. Coming to our last bracelet, which is my starry themed bracelet. Not really. 
it's not really a star theme bracelet. Well, it is a star theme bracelet, but I think the, the takeaway more is more of a, a night sky bracelet, which is why it has that darker blue, like a night sky. This was supposed to be another beachy type of bracelet. Um, if my other one is an, an aqua colors, this one was supposed to be like more of a darker ocean one, but it didn't come out, it just didn't play out that way. Um, because of the beads, I just, I don't know, I just didn't. Like this one's a beach, literally, this is called the beach, beach bead. But I just, the blue just really went with the, this one, which I forget what it's called now. I got this in Maui. Night, night flower? Is that what it's called? I forget. Um, yeah, it just kind of ended up being a star bracelet by accident, so kind of went with it. <laughs> I think it's done, actually. I'm trying to think. Is it done? Do I have a, what kind of, I'm missing two beads, actually, because if you think about, think about it, this is a set, the focal bead right here, and I have two glass beads, silver, two glass beads, silver, so I'm missing one more glass bead and one more glass bead in the same shade of blue, and then I'll be done, so very close to, to, to be done. And this one was originally part of the Wishful Sky sets, and I bought two of them, which is why I have the second scar, scar, Starlock. And then it came with this tiny little bead as well. So I have this one as a placeholder, or end cap, not placeholder, end cap, and then this one's the other end cap, which is perfect. All right, so with this bead, I will be concluding my video. So let's go ahead and take a closer look and we'll call it a day. bracelet to showcase um and also wanted to say real fast this is actually called fireworks bead but you know the fireworks are gonna explode in the sky at night <laughs> and it kind of looks like a star too so i think it's very fitting <laughs> and again that is it that is the conclusion to my troll bees collection video and in the meantime as i start putting everything back i'm just going to talk and I hope that, you know, everyone's doing okay with this quarantine. I know that a lot of states are starting to open back up again. I have mixed feelings about that. I feel like it may be too soon still. Um, you know, I don't know. Like, I don't want to get political or anything like that. This is not the kind of channel. This is for fun and hobbies and distraction and to make you guys feel good. But I don't know. I just feel kind of like, on one hand, I feel happy. That things are hopefully going to start to like you know come back and open and some kind of normalcy will be you know we'll have some kind of normalcy back and I know this is a new normal but hopefully we'll go back to our old normal I don't know with precautions obviously but so again I, I'm happy on one hand that we're opening up again and that things are hopefully going to resume back to some kind of normalcy but at the same time I just feel like maybe is it too soon are we pushing it you know, what if I keep hearing of these theories that if we don't take precautions and people don't take care of themselves, that the only thing they're going to do is it's going to resurge and it's going to be, you know, the, ugh, the cases are going to go back up again and it's just going to be bad and all the sacrifice that we all went through for these last two months is going to be for nothing and everything's going to have to close again. So I don't know. That does concern me, obviously, quite a bit. But I know at some point we have to get back to our lives, right? And I do have to say I am very blessed. I'm blessed that um, my husband can work from home and that we're doing very well. Um, yeah, we're going a little bit with cabin fever. And we're only going out about once a week for groceries, and that's like our outing, <laughs> which we actually really enjoy a lot. 
and I've been getting to spend time with my husband, although he is working from home, and I try not to bother him because he's working, and I work too, but at the same time, it's just, you know, we do want to get back to our lives, but I don't know. Like I said, it's a complicated issue for sure, and I'm sure everyone here is thinking the same thing. Everyone's tired of the quarantine. Everyone just wants to go out and enjoy life, but like I said, I am blessed that we haven't really had any huge shortcomings or that we've had to suffer really anything. So we are blessed that we've been okay. I know that a lot of people don't have that same situation that they, they are suffering, they are struggling. So I am grateful for the fact that I am, we're okay still. My family's okay. We're all doing as okay as we can be. I uh, wanna say thank you to everyone who's reached out again to check up on me and my family, asking how my family's doing. They're doing okay. They're doing okay in what it fits. I mean, we're still having issues, but <laughs> we're doing okay. <laughs> so again, I just want to say thank you um, for reaching out to me. Thank you for just watching and supporting me and just staying with me and watching my videos. And I love you guys. So stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.